Chapter 2, number 1. You're going to determine if the solved variable here is a solution for the equation or not. So let's take a look here. So we have x minus 10 divided by 4 equals to 5. So where x is, we put in a 30. So this is where the x was. So we put in that 30. Okay, here, let me write it for you. x minus 10 divided by 4 is equal to 5. We take out the x and we plug in that value that it says here, which is 30. Now we can simplify some like terms. 30 minus 10 becomes 20. Divide by 4 is equal to 5. Then we have 20 divided by 4, which is 5, and that equals to 5. This is true. So we can say that x equals to 30 is a valid solution. Okay. It makes this true. Next, we have h is equal to 3 for this one. So let's write it. 6 plus 4. 5 parentheses h plus 1 we take out this h here and we put the value of 3 now let's combine some like terms 6 plus 5 parentheses 3 plus 1 becomes 4 5 times 4 which is 20 6 plus uh, 20 it would be 26 oh I forgot to write the 26 equals to 26 All right I forgot to carry that out so it's 26 equals to 26. This is true. So x, so h equals to 3 is a valid solution for this equation. All right, let's look at c here. 2 parentheses 5d plus 2 close the parentheses is equal to 10d. That d becomes 0. Let's erase this, and let's erase this, and substitute in that variable of 0. Okay. Let's combine some like terms here. 5 times 0, which is 0, plus 2 is equal to 0. 0 plus 2, which is just still 2. 2 times 2, which is 4. 4, is that equal to 0? This is false. So d equals to 0 is not a valid solution okay there you go make the substitution then simplify and see if the left hand side equals to the right hand side if the left side equals the right hand side it is considered true and a valid solution if the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side it's false it's not a valid solution